So today I'm going to be trying to turn a temporary shroom into something that lasts a little bit longer out of molten pewter. Now I collected this thing a while ago in a paddock and got some plaster around it to preserve its shape and then waited until a few months later to allow the mushroom to dry out so I can pick it out. I ended up casting two mushrooms in the end so here's the video of me collecting that one as well. So I found all this stuff at some second hand shops for pretty cheap for a couple dollars for the whole lot. This one was 75 cents. We've got some nice little vases made out of pewter. There's a little stamp on the bottom of that one and some nice cups. This one's a really nice sort of silvery pewter. As you can see I've had a go at melting it down and it turns out really nice. Another little ingot that I've melted down before and some little bits and this stuff is just like a little droplet and just turned into foil basically. And for some reason ants love the pewter who knows why but anyway yeah so look at this fancy goblet now it's time to get cooking My god, this thing is heavy. Oh, sheesh. Hopefully, there's enough to fill up one of these mushrooms. I reckon there should be. And now, thanks to my special pouring modification, as you can see here. Should be able to pour some just right into there. We'll see how it goes. I think I've even got enough for another one. We'll give that a go as well. I had a little bit of extra pewter left over, so I got this nice little baking tray and poured it into there. Let's tap it out. Oh, it's already loose. Look at that. It's almost a perfect golf ball. It's probably still a bit hot, let's see. That's not too bad. And this particular kind of pewter out of those cups is really nice looking. Well, the mushrooms should have cooled down by now, so let's crack them open. There we go, let's open this one first. See what it turned out like. Oh, there's already a crack formed in there. Oh. Oh, ho we've got a bit of a mushroom. Yes. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Oh my gosh. This thing works so much better than I expected it to. Even if it didn't get the perfect detail. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh. 
Oof, it's a bit hot. Just smack it into the ground. Ah. I mean, it's even got the detail on top. What more could you ask for? Oh my gosh, it works so well. Underneath, isn't that great, but that's pretty damn awesome. Little mushroom. It's much better than my first attempt with aluminium. Pewter, so much easier. It looks pretty much just as good as well. But let's crack open the other one first. I can't even remember what the other one looks like because... Oh no, this one's still got the plastic on it. Oh well, we'll see. go let's see holy shit it looks like there's still a bit of mushroom in there <laughs> didn't pick that one out very well what the hell that's a hell of a big mushroom head oh it's still a bit hot that one. Oh damn that's a shame obviously didn't pick the mushroom out well enough of this one I thought I might as well give it a go today, though. Oof, jeez, that's hot. There we go. As you can see, this one's still got a bit of mushroom underneath that I failed to pick out. Oh, it would have been good, probably. Let's see. Oh, damn. If I managed to pick out the mushroom properly, it would have turned out awesome. Look at that imprint right there. That would have been freaking amazing. Oh well, still it turned out pretty good. This one, this one's even better than the first one, apart from the little gills. I have to improve that next time. But look at that. That's a pewter mushroom right there. That is a really awesome looking mushroom. <laughs> it's just fun cracking them open and revealing such an awesome little thing. Well, there you go. Made some pewter mushrooms. They look freaking awesome. We'll clean these up and have another look in a second. This one looks freaking amazing, it does. Can't believe how excited I got about this one when it was coming out compared to this one. That's a proper mushroom, that is. I'm definitely going to keep this. And um, this one looks slightly questionable, to say the least. <laughs> and there we have it, the pewter mushroom. Something that would only normally last a few days. Preserved forever. Well, until someone melts it down again. <laughs> Thanks for watching this random little video. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. And what the heck? And there is the echidna right there, sitting in its butt. Well, that's pretty random, just walking past as I was filming. This echidna just decides to step in. See if we can get a picture of his little face. <laughs>